Hey everybody, how's it going? On today's video, we are gonna be talking about a lit RPG I recently finished. And that lit RPG is One More Plow 2, a monitor farming lit RPG. I am so excited to talk about this one. Uh, if you have watched my first video and uh, have seen that, you know that I am really excited and really enjoy this One More Plow series, where, they're, where someone is isekai'd into a minotaur's body and now they want to go be a farmer, but their life is just so, it's everything so hectic that they can't be left alone and they have to pick up the ax once more or the, the claymore or whatever weapon there is in arm's reach to make sure that they uh, protect their land, protect their friends, and keep what is theirs and not die or get killed by monsters and those that seek levels and those that are just prejudiced towards minotaurs. So one more plow to where we left Garrick. Garrick is uh, just getting in to his farm. He's uh, creating trade routes and but he's just not left alone. And there have been developments with, um, you know, in, in the previous book, I'm trying not to spoil things, but his previous accomplishments in the previous book has gotten him a lot of wealth and fame in the second. And he has gotten more power experiences, levels, and he hit a major level threshold that is very uh, important in this universe. And he's just recovered from that and uh, now is, you know, feeling out his newfound power. And but now that uh, he has like done this great deed, uh, he has been recognized by the system and announced to the world about this uh, about this achievement. And it's bringing undue attention. And now even other minotaurs are actually coming to take his head. Because apparently, if you off uh, someone that makes this certain milestone or does this uh, recognized thing by, you know, in this universe, there are gods and you recognize you get blessed for doing uh, a major accomplishment and you get special powers for that and more for uh, what you've done. And some people, uh, you can get, that can get taken away from you if you are slain by somebody else. So that is not good for Garrick. Garrick is not happy about that. And also he just wants to get back to his farm and grow and build his operation up. And, you know, that's all he wants. But it's never that easy in this world for him. But uh, through constant, you know, obstacles, he's making sure his friends are safe and his business is thriving and all that. And so that's a little bit of an overview. Again, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so where you can actually read the author's overview and get a sample from Audible and listen to a little bit more before uh, you decide to pick up the second one and hopefully make your own decision. Because again, these videos are mainly to get you thinking of if this is a one for you or not for you. So, again, I'll try to be, uh, I'll try not to spoil things, especially if you're someone that's trying to, like, see if you want to get into the series. But we're going to go ahead and dive into my pros and cons now. So first, let's go with pros. First, great narration. Um, Jonathan Keeble is freaking amazing. Uh, I don't know if I went ahead and talked about uh, some of the info of it, but uh, this is done by Exemplar. Um, and narrated by Jonathan Keeble. If you know him from his uh, Warhammer audiobook series, he is uh, one of their kind of uh, frequent narrators. But yeah, this is uh, narrated by Jonathan Keeble. And the audiobook length is 12 hours and 40 minutes. So that's a little bit of info. I think I might have forgotten to tell that at the beginning because I'm just so stinking excited about this audiobook. I can't help it. Um, so back into the pros. Um, the pros are great narrating. Awesome fights. I freaking love it. This, this, this one is definitely a lot more fighting than farming. There's a little bit about getting his oper Garrick's operation up and running and making sure it runs more smoothly, but there is quite a bit more fighting in this one, um, which is nice, um, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more about 
uh, in my uh, cons. Next is shocking twists. Oh my gosh. There are a couple shocking twists within this uh, this second of one more plow series. And I was just kind of like, kind of like listening to it because I'm pretty wrapped in this, you know, pretty like invested and uh, we're just like drawn to this series. And then with, there's just these times where Exemplar just writes it in and it's all of a sudden this twist and you're just like, oh, like, I don't know. Like you're just so, I don't know. I'm just so zoned in in this book that when the twist happens, I was just kind of like slapping tables, looking, just making the goofiest face. But yeah, it was just some a couple twists in this that really stood out um, that were very uh, exciting. It was just like, whoa. And uh, so, and this next one is uh, just interesting direction. Um, the first book was more Garrick getting set up, figuring out, you know, he was um, a human is kind into a Minotaur's body and trying to figure things out. He has Garrick's memories to go off of, but uh, he's just still trying to figure things out. And in this next one, he's doing less of that and just kind of setting up his operation. And um, it's interesting to see, like, you know, it's almost like chapters. It's like, okay, this was the beginning, and now, oh, there's a little more fighting to do in this one. And the next one, I don't know, would be maybe more uh, of... Uh, his farming uh, perspective of this. And uh, I'm hoping, because again, I'll talk more about cons than that. But I just I just thought the, the direction of like the story is just interesting. It's not just constantly, it doesn't feel like it's just one path and you're just like, okay, well, I can kind of see where this is going. But there's just like this weaving of like, Okay, this is interesting. We're focusing a little more on this. Oh, now we're going to go this way now and focus more on uh, this. And it was just, it, I really enjoyed it. Um, and the last thing is, uh, this is just a very captivating story. A lot like I was staying before with the twists. I was just so sucked into this story because uh, with the writing of Exemplar and the narration performance uh, of Jonathan Keeble, I was just kind of like, that I was zoned in and very like invested and just like, you know, shutting out the world as I listened to the series and it was just, it was awesome. But, uh, but yeah, those are some of the pros that I had and I just, again, yeah, really liked the story and, uh, really liked the combat that was definitely more prevalent in this series. But let's go ahead and talk about some of the cons that I had with this series. And oh, it's just sad. Like, I don't think I had too many cons last time, but I have a few more cons this time. And they're just, you know, they feel a little more nitpicky, but it's just something that I would like to just point out. And the first is not enough unique farming. Garrick has some unique farming uh, techniques that he em em employs in the first book. And if you know what I'm talking about, I'm just going to leave that uh, a little vague, especially if someone is watching this video and they have not gone through the whole, uh, they, they have not read the first one. Uh, there's definitely a unique aspect to uh, Garrick's farming. And I think it's really cool and interesting. And I can't wait to see how that develops. But there wasn't really enough of that this time. It was like, it was still a part of it. But uh, in this series, in this book, in the second one, he was not able to focus that, uh, focus on that as much. And um, it was kind of like put to the side. And I hope in the next one, the third book, I don't know when it will come out, but I hopefully, you know, soon or, you know, I just know, but uh, I just really can't wait for the next one. Um, but hopefully in the next one, it's brought back up his unique farming and all that and a little more of his experiments that he has going on. So definitely not enough unique farming. And uh, I, I was sad, but it is what it is. Uh, next is definitely bent towards fighting. Uh, the story was a lot of just more uh, action. And some people that like other series like Azeroth Healer, Primal Hunter, um, more, uh, more of those like combative uh, and uh, fighting kind of uh, series. This is the second one is definitely uh, more towards your liking. But to me, I didn't come for all that, especially after the first book. I thought I would get a kind of a balance of Garrick's unique farming and his uh, saying his bloodlust and, uh, you know, protecting what is his. But not this time. It was more just fighting, which 
again, the story is, uh, the story is definitely focused on that this time, but I think the third book will be very, not, not too much less, but less of that and more maybe back to his unique farming. Um, so we'll see. I can't wait for the third book. Um, next, let's see. Nothing, again, I, I'm, I'm hitting fighting a lot on this uh, cons, but nothing terribly interesting happens outside of uh, his fights and his, uh, you know, intense scenes of survival and uh, triumph. But uh, outside that, like his, his business and his growth and all that, it's not too too interesting, and it just seems like you know until the next fight that uh, you're gonna kind of just be waiting. But um, I think especially as this book ended, I was very excited to see what's gonna happen in the third. So yes, I'm hitting on the fighting now, and I I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the fighting. I really enjoyed, especially with the narration capabilities of Jonathan Keeble and how he made those fights just so real. I was like. Oh, but um, it's definitely uh, I definitely came for both fighting and farming, not just fighting. So uh, I can't wait for the next one because the next one does seem like it would go in that direction to where it's more going to be about the unique farming that he's got going on. So that's all I really have on the second book of the One More Plow series, and I hope this video helped. Again, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, so you can go ahead and learn more about it on your own from the audible uh, description from or the summary from the author and the audible uh, sample that you can get because it's just um, you don't really get much from the sample but it's you get a little enough to get excited so uh, yeah it's just really great series can't recommend it enough and I hope uh, I've done one of two things is gotten you into a new series or I've saved you time because the series isn't for you but uh but yeah this is definitely one that I really enjoy and if you have watched my videos and you find that you really enjoy what I like then I think this could be one for you and if you don't then uh this is probably not one for you in my opinion but yeah so uh, I'll let you guys get back to it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're currently listening to right now. There are so many audiobooks re releasing, and it's just like a slog to go through them all and uh, then talk about them. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this series, and I, I can't wait. And hopefully you'll comment so I can read whatever uh, current audiobook that you're listening to and enjoying. All right. Well, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Toodles!